Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So, previously on the channel, I have mentioned that if you are using Google Gemini, which is Google's AI chatbot, as you may well know, Google shut down the ability to generate images of people because it did have a couple of issues that Google needed to work on before it rolled out. And this is using the new Imagine 3 model in the Gemini AI chatbot to generate those images. Now, just to let you know that Google is once again opening up the option to all users again to generate images of people. And the free version of Gemini is now um, getting the ability once again to create images of uh, people as mentioned. Now, this follows the rollout of image generation to paying advanced subscribers. So being able to generate images of people first rolled out to the advanced tier and now it's back in the um, the free version of Google Gemini. And now when you ask the chatbot to generate images that contain people, it um, will not kind of evade your question anymore and will generate images with people in it. Now, just to let you know that there are a couple of limitations with this, where it can only generate pictures of random people, as you can see in the image provided. So when you ask it to generate a picture that depicts someone identifiable, like a celebrity, or you name an individual, it will start generating the actual image, but will then shut down before it's done, and it will inform you that it can't generate images of identifiable people so you can just see this is an image of random people but nonetheless i um, just wanted to let you know because this was a problem with the new uh, imagine 3 model that google had implemented in google gemini so if you are using the ai chatbot just wanted to put it out there if you would be interested so thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one